so let's make it right here so it will be a void my vector uh, lock new and uh, make the max size equal the size times 2 uh, so we just uh, make the allocated memory the size twice of that we allocated earlier we need to make a TMP array and make it new uh, int and as many elements as we want so max size so just simple make a new array so we allocated the new array but we de uh, doesn't uh, copy the element right now but we will do that now int i equals 0 i less than v size i plus plus and make tmp i equal to array i so j we just oh, bracket we just simple copy the element simple enough right now we want to delete the array so we just delete the allocated space we don't need that and make the arrays address to the tmp which we created uh, just right now all right and i think we implemented everything that is needed to make a very simple example let me think that uh, do we left out something uh, oh I think I called the size bad somewhere, actually a lot of uh, somewhere, because uh, yeah, if the size is uh, much more uh, logical than V size. Never mind, uh, this should be okay, a few errors is okay, because uh, actually make something before we compile the program, for example make a new vector vec uh, called vec and then make a tmp integer value and as we did with the normal uh, uh, vector i will make an endless loop uh, i read the tmp so i read to tmp actually i think we need to use the std colon colon thin because the oh no it is here mm, we don't need that or do we ah, uh, let's use it never mind then we don't need that okay if tmp equal to mi minus one then we just simply return with uh, a no return just break because i want to leave the element and as we just simple vec dot push back uh, tmp simple enough all right and in here outside of the class just write out you have entered vec dot Hive elements elements these are and now just make a new line okay then and now just make a for loop in i equal zero i less than vec dot size i plus plus and just write out the so the vec i and make a space after it and after that make a new line and make a return zero so return zero all right that's it for uh, it should uh, use a lot of things from vector it use the default constructor uh, it used the pushback function, it used the size function, it used the array subscription operator. So we can test uh, with this simple program our vector class. Alright, uh, let me see is it compiled or not. So first, 
first.cpp okay a few error uh, 43 let's see array size uh, oh yeah I forget to change v size not size v size okay and in 59 I mistyped an L okay now we can compile the program or not 61 oh bracket I shouldn't call it v size no one uh, uh, notice about v size mm, let's see yeah I think I doesn't in implement the size function so implement it never mind in size and oh return with v size okay now we should uh, co we can compile the program I hope so oh bracket all right then now we should compile the program and test it out so we can write the integers in here oh I write it at least the 20 integers in here so we can test that uh, does it can allocate a uh, new memory if there is uh, more than 20 uh, elements in it okay and minus one uh, we have entered 44 elements and nine eight seven does it write it all I don't think so I see it again okay just some integers it write all it seems because it's write the last element it's write the first element or does it test it again so start with 11 hmm. it's uh, write out all of the elements but it seems that it is not 44 or is it okay it seems it works fine although it looks m uh, less element than 27 but uh, believe me I count them all of them and it is 27 elements so uh, the program works well okay uh, make an operator plus equal so it will return with a reference to my vector so my vector reference operator plus equal and uh, it will be an integer integer okay and uh, make uh, it here after this I forget to implement that although this was a very simple function uh, yeah it happens sometimes mostly when I do the recording I screw up everything always but mm, doesn't matter uh, it worked the program is fine now so everything is fine so my vector reference my vector because it's inside the my vector operator plus equals and we want to we just simple call that this dot push back and we want to push back the i actually why don't we use the normal this push back i and we return with this uh, i think it should work let's test it out 
So after the while loop we just push an element back. So vec plus equal uh, 99. We just push the 99 element back. Let's see. It's compiled. That's great. 1, 2, 3, minus 1. And as you can see it's pushed back the 99 element as it at and it is work fine. Cool, right? We just make a so simple operator and now we can use the plus equal operator anywhere we want to push elements back. Okay, uh, we, did the, we didn't implement a function, the copy constructor. This is a very special constructor as I said earlier. Alright, uh, let's make it. Okay, first of all we have to check uh, that uh, the self-assignment, although I think, ah, never mind, it doesn't hurt anyone to check it, so the address of uh, V. Alright, then we just simple override anything, so uh, max size equals V dot max size size equal to t dot size and uh, we delete the array because oh delete delete the array because we don't need it anymore because it will be uh, override uh, because we use the uh, copy constructor by the way mm, let me think. Nope. That is the assignment operator. We don't want the assignment operator. So, uh, okay. And we don't need this check. It's here. Uh, later when we use the assignment operator, then we will use this, what I showed you. But for now, just simple make make an array so let's see array equal new array and uh, next slide okay and now we have to just uh, oh it's not t it v okay now we just copy all of the elements as we did the uh, for zero oh bracket so i less than v dot v size i plus plus uh array i equal uh v dot array i okay uh, that should be it and now we want to return with uh, this so return this like that okay and i think each should work although i am not sure but let's test it out okay uh, use it somewhere in here so uh, why there is two return zero uh, never mind so make a new vector so my vector uh, that's two and uh, pass the vec to it so this will be a copy constructor, it will copy the entire vec, uh, vector to vector2. And now just write out uh, the vector to see if it work or not. Make another new line to separate a little bit. And vec2.size and vec2.i. Yeah, that should be it. Get a terminal and try to compile ok uh, 40 wait, f or 36 uh, let's see oh I know oh, v size not size again oh frack 